Hello everyone, this is QED and today we are going to cover how to disassemble and clean the QED pump cycle counter. If you have a counter that you cannot get adjusted to work, you will need to remove the counter from the filter regulator. Once the counter is removed, you first need to see if the magnet shuttle is moving. On the end of the counter with the arrow on it, take the screwdriver and push on the shuttle to see if it moves. The majority of the time it will be stuck due to debris that get inside the counter and keep the shuttle from moving. So disassembly you will need two 7 8 open end wrenches to disassemble the counter. Put one of the wrenches on the hexagon with the arrow on it and the other wrench on the small hexagon just above the other. Next Remove the air inlet fitting, and once you have it removed, the shuttle. The spring. And the end cap should come out. You may need to tap that end cap to get it out. So if the shuttle does not move, you can spray the inside of the counter barrel with some WD-40 or any other type of lubricant that you have on hand. After prying the lubricant and leaving the counter sit for several minutes, you can now try to remove the shuttle. On the barrel opposite of the air inlet fitting, you could try pushing the shuttle out with a screwdriver. Uh, once you have the shuttle spring and end cap removed from the inside of the barrel, you can clean the inside of the barrel with a small brush. and some WD-40. This will remove any debris or buildup that are on the inside preventing the shuttle from moving freely. Uh, you will want to visually inspect the components uh, to see if they are broken, worn, or in need of replacing. Okay. Once you have your barrel clean and all your components inspected, reassemble the counter in the reverse order is disassembling. First the spring stop followed by the spring and finally the shuttle. Uh, if you notice on the air inlet fitting there's o-rings on the fitting. When you're putting the fitting back on inside the barrel you do not need to over tighten the fitting. This o-ring will seal. Once the counter is reassembled test the display to make sure it is working when the shuttle passes under it. All right. So if your display does not move, you will have to change the display. This is done by loosening the thumb screw on the side of the display enough to slide the assembly off the bottom of the barrel. Once the assembly is off the bottom of the barrel, you can then disassemble the assembly, remove the thumb screw completely, and then, then the display seat, display and the display sleeve will come apart. Take your new display and set it on top of the, dis the display seat and slide the display sleeve together. Align the holes on the display seat and display sleeve and inset the thumb only far enough to hold the assembly together. Slide this assembly back onto the barrel and once you find the position where you want to set the display tighten the thumb screw and check the new display to see if it is now working properly. And that sums up our uh, disassembly and cleaning of the pump cycle counter. So if you have any questions today regarding the pump cycle counter or any other piece of QED equipment, please call us at 1-800-624-2026 and we will be glad to assist you. Thank you for your time today and have a great day.